Okay, in this tutorial we're going to build a little bit of a mountainside and maybe create a little simulation for say a mudslide or something like that. Now, I happen to love natural disasters and I haven't really been working on my natural disaster simulations lately and part of the reason is because Blender is about to go under undergo a fundamental change in the game engine whereas notice normally I'm over here working in Blender game like that for certain type of applications but the bullet physics within the Blender game engine is about to get integrated into Blender render and in fact that new release is targeted here or maybe by the end of the week hopefully and it's just going to evolve from there so then we should be able to have physics within Blender render and then you can mix and match other things so it's going to give us a lot more power so until that happens I've kind of laid low on the game engine stuff except for my new tutorial series on my uh, alien spaceships and uh, tank I've uh, under the Python game engine programming tutorial series I'm about to start a whole series from lesson 21 forward on how I program that entire thing with all the code and the whole nine yards so that's that'll be really useful for those of you who are into the game engine and uh, but in here let's just I'll show you this little mountain scene let me see I'm gonna edit this and I'll just subdivide it real quick I'll make a quick little mountain nothing fancy but oh maybe that's one too many okay that's good enough like that in fact I'll stay in there and I'll grab this point I have my proportional editing enabled sharp mode so I'll just press GZ and I'll move it up like that increase the influence like that alright there's my first little mountain point and I'll do the same thing here GZ it's just making a little mountain range like that so everything's kind of encapsulated in there yeah nothing, nothing can really escape I'm basically gonna try and direct some particles one direction down into this valley okay that's good for starters and then uh, let's see I really do want to subdivide it some more but just for now I'll kind of give you an idea how I work so I'm gonna leave this just for a second I'm gonna make a copy of this shift D and I'm just going to left click and copy it into place. So notice when I right click it switches between plane.003 and plane.002. Okay, like that. So I'll use plane.003. And the reason I'm doing that, I'll go back into edit mode. And I want to take a surface, like for instance, a couple of things you could do to make a mudslide scene is you could make it rain with particles and uh, maybe fluid particles you change the shape of the object that's being emitted I've done a lot of lessons on particles you can see those in those playlists and you make it fall on, onto the surface but and then those particles can fall down into the surface and do some cool things and that's where that new bullet physics will come in because then it'll interact with objects uh, but one thing that you want is the surface to maybe change color as it gets wet and to maybe ooze like mud and I'll kind of I won't go through the whole setup of it but I'm going to show you how I deal with it in that kind of situation so maybe it's going to rain up here on this part of the mountain so maybe I'll just go grab some I'll go get face select mode and I'll grab these pieces of the mountain just like this maybe where I think it's going to rain and I'll just you know I'll kind of start it like that and that'll be good for starters and then I'm going to press P and I'm going to separate the selection I'm just going to separate that from the object so now that's a separate object you notice it doesn't show up on here in fact if I press A you can see it doesn't exist anymore but that is so that is a separate object alright so I'm going to leave edit mode this is plain.003 and I'm just going to press X and delete it so I've deleted that mountain. Now the original mountain is still there, and now what also is there is this as plane.004. So it's still there. It is right there. You can't see it, but what I'll do is just for starters, I'll press U and make it a single user object data materials and texture, and I'll just give it another, just a slightly different color, so we can see it in there, like that. 
right? So I basically have separated out and made it a separate object, but it, yet it's following the contours of the mountain exactly, right? And that's what I'm going to use. So the way I'll do it is you can control it with as through a soft body. So just because I'll go create a vertex group and I'll go call this, I don't know, mud patch. And I'm going to edit mode. I want to give them all a weight of zero and assign it. So they're all free to float as we go. And then I'm going to come up here to the physics engine or the physics tab and click this soft body. And under here, the soft body goal, I have to go click that vertex group. I'll call it mud patch. And then I'm going to make it 100% of the goal. A couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, well, this is, you can change these up a lot. I'll crank the springs up here. I want to change the uh, friction. I'm going to change the, drop the friction down, and, but crank the damping up. I'm going to try and prevent it from bouncing. Sometimes these things will bounce off the surface. And so I'll leave that. I'll right select the mountain itself. And I'll make that a collision base object. All right, so let's see what happens when I press Alt A. Let me go get a timeline down here. And press Alt A and see what happens. And there it goes. So it's sliding down the mountain. See that? Mm hmm. Oh, well, it's bouncing, but you can change that with these uh, parameters in here. You have to just kind of tweak those to get it working right. So what you can do is based on this you can you can start your scenes and you can basically have this oozing down the mountain you, and you can change the color over time right and what's nice about this type of effect it kind of works like the fluid particles if I had fluid particles up in here like acting as my rain they would all come down and follow this surface and they would all flow down right through here but this will add the extra effect of adding like a mud type effect oozing down and I've done it before in other animations. I can't find the file I was looking for it, but I had it where I had patches all over the place and they all come down and coalesce and kind of meet down at the center and it really adds for a really cool effect. But I just have it in offset color right now so you can see what I'm actually doing. Let me see if I can change this damping a little bit on here so it doesn't bounce off that surface on the first frame. No, it's still bouncing. Well, there's a way that you can do it. This, a lot of that's trial and error to get that to work right. But you can get it so it doesn't We crank up the mass a little bit. Maybe that will help. Mass makes a huge difference in these simulations. Uh, that's a little bit too much. And anyway, anyway, well, that should give you a pretty good idea. And uh, Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.